Johnny Depp has recently broken his silence in an interview about his current state in the defamation lawsuit and his career years after he lost his British libel suit. You might remember that in November of 2020, Johnny Depp lost a libel case against British news publisher The Sun after labeling him something he still denies up to this day. This lost libel case might seem to be just a little stain in this long-running career, but it's actually dealt a huge blow to Johnny. After he lost this libel case, he was kicked out of his reoccurring role in the J.K. Rowling critically acclaimed Fantastic Beast trilogy, where he would have played the iconic Grindelwald in the series' third installment. He was then replaced with Mads Milkinson in the role, but this was just the start of a harrowing journey in Johnny's career. He was also kicked out of one of his most famous film series, Walt Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, and in any of its succeeding films, series, and spin-offs. This libel case really did damage a lot, even the iconic Jack Sparrow. Now, after all the chaos that has swirled around the actor in the past few years, he's almost at the end of it all, as his $50 million suit against his ex-wife Amber Heard is advancing on its current state of trial. However, it may seem that Johnny obviously has a lot of advantages over the Aquaman actress in many ways. It still can't be denied that the whole whirlwind situation really did take a toll on his career and has even termed it the Hollywood industry itself boycotted him during this predicament. Especially that after all he's gone through with his roles, his new film Minamata will not be released in the United States after all. But why did the award-winning actor feel that way and what did he say about it? What made Johnny Depp speak up just recently, after years of keeping his silence, about Hollywood ruining his career? Let's find out the answer to that in this video. But before all else, make sure to hit that subscribe button first and smash that notification bell for more updates on the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. Now, let's begin. You may all vividly remember the event in 2017 that started all this frenzy surrounding the now 58-year-old actor Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard. Well, what you did not know back then was how greatly it would affect the actor's career in the years to come. Inside those four long years of the Johnny and Amber Heard unending turmoil, here's what happened so far that escalated the fire that has already been burning up since 2017. In 2018, Amber wrote an op-ed article in the Washington Post where she spoke up and explained how she was hurt and maltreated, and in which she also spoke about the treatment of many other women in the same type of cases. Despite not involving Johnny's name on her statement, Johnny's team knew that it was pertained to him, having recently filed a restraining order for physical complaints against him, and, well, technically, they just got out of their failed relationship. So in March of 2019, the then 57-year-old actor took action and filed a lawsuit of $50 million against the Aquaman actress for words said over the said aforementioned article in the Washington Post. The suit said that Amber was not a victim, but rather a perpetrator of the complained act and denied that Johnny ever heard her. At that time, Depp's lawyers called the article an overuse of the hashtag MeToo movement, as she also used this article to get her face in the front of the movement that was supposed to protect celebrities and people in the industry who actually experienced the things she said was claiming to have experienced. The suit also said that the claims were part of an elaborate hoax to generate positive publicity for the actress. Despite all the allegations thrown at Johnny, the Fantastic Beast actor managed to gather sets of evidence to prove her otherwise and to help them in the defamation case against his ex-wife. The evidence included a recorded phone call where Amber admitted to hitting Johnny. The actress alleged affairs with actor James Franco and mega businessman Elon Musk, which may have been proved somehow by itself when the two dated for a whole year right after Johnny and Amber's divorce and the missing $7 million settlement money that Amber received from the divorce. Johnny's team once defended in the British libel case against The Sun that Amber was only after his money. So the actress vowed to donate half of the settlement money to charity and to the American Civil Liberties Union, which, until now, hasn't been proven. During all of this havoc, Johnny's career has almost turned into shambles. After Amber's infamous article in 2018, Johnny lost any chances to step back into any series, show, or film associated with Pirates of the Caribbean, one of his most famous film series yet. 
The production company also admitted that the decision was made after Amber's article. Johnny just lost two film series that he's pulling off while Amber Heard continues to get huge parts in huge films. Because of this, fans continue to be upset, and even though they once have been turned down in their past petition to convince Warner Brothers to fire Amber Heard, they're still willing to do it all over again. On the first day of the second Aquaman movie's filming, hashtag Fire Amber Heard trended. Throughout all of these, Johnny Depp has kept his silence, but he finally broke it in an interview saying that he felt like the Hollywood industry has been boycotting him. He spoke in often incomplete responses, described as riddles and broken sentences, during an interview for Britain's The Sunday Times, narrating about the film industry's fallout of his once formidable career. In the wake of the trial, after all the blow he took from getting kicked out of his movies, his new film Minamata, focusing on life photographer W. Eugene Smith's uncovering of mercury treatment of Japanese villagers in the early 1970s, will not be released in the US by MGM. Such a bummer, isn't it? This affects those in Minamata and people who experience similar things, and for anything. The Rum Diary actor explained in halting language, for Hollywood's boycott of, um, me, one man, one actor in an unpleasant and messy situation over the last number of years, he added, it's really such a bummer for him and for his fans, considering that Johnny Depp basically shaped the film industry today. With all his over-the-top acting and even unrecognizable makeup, he really proved in every single film that he was in that he was there to give it his all. He was the maddest Mad Hatter. He was the most evil Sweeney Todd, and he will always be the one and only Jack Sparrow. But you know, I'm moving towards where I need to go to make all of that, he said before trailing off, adding, to bring things to light. Speaking of the circus-like showbiz trials aftermath, the tourist actor referred obliquely to the absurdity of media mathematics. Whatever I've gone through, I've gone through, but ultimately this particular area of my life has been so absurd, he continued. What did the people in Minamata deal with? People who suffered with the illness. A lot of people lost their lives, Johnny said. But what have I been through? That's like getting scratched by a kitten comparatively, he hurtfully expressed. So is Johnny Depp's career really in shambles? It might be a little early to say that, especially considering that the trial is not over yet. Who knows, perhaps after the truth has come to light, everything will fall back into place again, just how it was in 2015. But apart from that, you can never underestimate the devotion of his fans too. Depp said that he has felt support from his fan base who have stayed on the ride with him. They've always been my employers, the actor said. I'm proud of these people because of what they are trying to say, which is the truth. The truth they're trying to get out since it doesn't in more mainstream publications. It's a long road that sometimes gets clunky, sometimes just plain stupid, he concluded. Johnny might still be in an unknown and disastrous chapter in his life, but once everything has gone back to the way they were, we do hope to see Johnny's career skyrocket back to where it was before. That's all for today. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Stay tuned.